Okay guys, uh, so Mark Williams asked me to do a little video on how to create a wing. There's actually a wing in five minutes tutorial um, and it doesn't show what's going on. So I'm basically gonna be replicating that. Now this is not necessarily how I would do a wing, but for the sake of this demonstration, it'll be quite a nice one for you guys to see. Okay, so first thing to do is to go and create a Cube 3D, go straight into edit mode, and then I'm going to make it poly mesh 3D. It's basically like this. I'm going to come down to initialize, and I'm going to leave the QQ mesh, and I'm going to go to cube. So under initialize cube 2222, and hit that. So we're left with something like this. Okay, I'm pressing Control W just to make it one poly group. Now, just going to turn the floor on, so I've got my floor plane. And what I want to do is I want to basically pull the ends up and out. So I'm going to mask the side. And then I'm going to inverse control click. I'm going to use scale and I'm going to scale this out a little bit like that. Okay, that'll do. Now I'm going to sort of get my point going here and because I want to get it to like a feather like. And then I'm going to take the ends there, mask them, control it, and drag it down. So I've got a kind of feather type thing going on now. I'm going to grab these end parts and just move them down. So I'm just using a bit of. Um, scaling to do this actually I'm moving back out that's a good all right so I've got this kind of shape going on facing us okay so what I need to do now is just to add a little bit of a shaping to this so I want to make sure I have got the right scale on this I'm going to scale it a little bit more and then I'm going to press the control W so I'm going to come down and I'm going to divide this make sure it is unmasked before you do this so I'm going to un divide it like that and I'm going to get something like that so if I turn sideways now I'm going to go to move and I'm going to kind of just push it this way a little bit so we form this kind of a shape all right and you can do any further tweaking that you need to just going to turn on symmetry on the X so I can do both sides get that kind of feather shape going on all right so that's very basic shape I'm just going to get this and scale it in I want it to be a little bit flatter than this Okay, that, that looks good to me. Um, we're still in low subdivision level, of course. So this is what we've got. We've got something like this, okay? Very simple and looks a bit like a feather. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna use the move and I'm going to make sure symmetry is turned off. And I'm simply gonna start to drag this up. So I'm pressing the control key and I'm gonna drag this up. Uh, I just need to delete lower subdivision levels when I do this. So I can bring one up like this. Let's put that into better position, something like that. Move another up, another up. So all I'm doing is holding control key when I move up. Okay, and I want about six of these. I'm just following the video basically. So I've got five and then one more up top something like that okay so now I can unmask by control dragging and we have this as one tool now so I'm now just going to go into the move tool going to make it a nice big brush and we're going to kind of just shape this around so I'm kind of pulling pulling the shape of this a little bit Just to kind of arch over. Something like that. Oops. Okay, that's not too bad. And I'm going to just reset this and I'm going to kind of straighten it up. I'm going to turn perspective off. And we're going to kind of straighten this up so it's something like that. And what I'm looking for is it for it to bend round like this. So I've got that kind of thing going on. Something like that should be good 
starters. Just straighten this bit out. Okay. Okay, sorry about this. I'm just going to put it this way. All right, so we're now ready to move into array mesh. We're going to come down to the array mesh here and we're going to create an array. Okay, so I've turned array on. Uh, I'm going to go in here to copy two and I'm going to put transpose on. And I'm going to move across and turn the transpose line on so that I'm able to basically transpose and move this mesh. So I'm going to move it up here. Notice I'm using that middle circle to move this. So I'm moving it about there. And now I'm going to put in 11 in here. Oops. Just going to move this in a bit. So I've got that kind of thing going on. Okay. And then what we're going to do, so we haven't moved out of this, is I'm going to click here and we're going to drag this small bit out like this. Okay. Now I'm also going to make sure I go to rotate as well. And we've got a rotation point, but I'm going to make the rotation point here. And that's the wrong one. I want to go here. And I want to basically. Oh, let's go here. Oops, sorry about this. Just need to. basically get into the end here. I'm clicking this little red dot and I'm going to drag it kind of this way and we're going to get a nice wing shape. We can also take amount, this amount away or add to it to make it look better. I think that's good. So there we go. So we're using the array and we're actually doing a rotate using this edge line here. So this will rotate this way. This will rotate the other way. So you want to make sure that you're flicking and you're hitting the right one. And you can move it up or you can move it down to get that rotation. But that is basically it. And I can just shake this and change this shape. Go to move. Actually, that's not making any difference, but that's uh, it's a little bit fiddly getting used to this. But you basically got this wing shape forming then, so you get the shape. I mean, you might want to go out a little bit here. We'll change that rotation point. Until it looks right. Like that. Looks pretty good. So now that's done, I'm going to come out of draw. Remember, we can still change this. We have that ability to change this on the fly, but I want to make it into a mesh now. So I'm just going to click Make Mesh. And then we have this piece, which we can subdivide. Control D, Control D. And then we're going to get something like that. And I can come into the plugins here and Subtool Master, go back to Mirror, 
mirror on the X into a new sub tool. Turn that gizmo back on. Oops. Oh, let's create it as one. Let's mirror this as a new sub tool. Okay. Just going to reset this and put it. Yeah, actually, I don't like that angle. I'm going to change this angle. That's good. Let me delete that one out. Click OK. We do another mirror. And there we go. Reset this. I'm going to bring it up to the line. So I want it to be that close, yeah? So let me just delete that one out. Just because I've got gone off center, as it were. Go in a mirror. There we go. Lovely pair of wings. And you can take that. You can merge them down. They've still got subdivision levels. So all those feathers could be UV'd. All right. And of course, you now have the ability to go in and use the gizmo to do things like twisting or arcing. Uh, let's use a little bit of... Just see what taper's going to do. Uh, you need to make sure it's one subdivision level so i need to duplicate this out uh, i'm just playing around now this is not the same as the video uh, i'm just playing around so i need to delete my subdivision levels to be able to use the gizmo the um, deformations so i delete lower so this is where we can have a little bit of fun with what we've created we can go into things like taper you know and use a little bit of taper and go yeah i like that and then we can go into something like a little bit of bend arcing and check that out. Oh, that's not going to work for me. Nope, let's delete that. Let's bend curve it. Let's take this and move this that way. Add some resolution in there. And then I can take these, I can bend it over to get my exact bend for a wing that kind of thing you click accept and I can make the whole thing thicker very nice so now if I turn this on we got a lovely set of bent wings now of course you know if I turn on symmetry you can then move this as a block play around with that arc some of these out a bit more and um, really have fun with it but that's how you can create those wings uh, mark for you to play around with so pretty easy it does take a little bit of a new skill there you've got to use that transpose tool to move things around um, but then you can finally change things using the new gizmo um, that you've got in there so hopefully it's helped you and uh, yeah enjoy creating wings